All right, now we're gonna see Google Classroom from the student perspective. So this will be kind of how to do things on the student side. So when I go to classroom.google.com and I'm signed in, I will see the classes that I am enrolled in. And I will see any upcoming assignments within the next week. Typically the assignments, if they're more than a week right now, they aren't showing up. I can get into my classroom. I can unenroll myself from a classroom, but that would kind of, if you're in a class, that'd be a bad thing because you're gonna miss all the assignments and all the announcements. And so I can also, the folder here will take me to a folder that's created in my Google Drive for that class. But most of what we need access, I will get from the stream. So I clicked on my class and I can see over here, I can see any upcoming assignments. And then I will see the stream here. And so I can see assignments. Now, the newest thing is always going to be at the top. There's no way to sort that right now. So you will just see things as they come in. With assignments, you will see them as either being completed or not. So if I click on this assignment, I'll be able to see what I have turned in. I will also see when it was due. And I can see if there are any comments here. The teacher may leave comments here, or I could put in my own comments for the teacher to see. Now one thing I can do is I can unsubmit an assignment. So let's say I wanted to unsubmit that assignment. That means I'm pulling that assignment back. Now it's not due. Let's say I accidentally turned in the wrong thing or I turned it in too soon, I wanna make some changes. That's when you would unsubmit. I can turn in my assignment directly from here or I can go into the assignment that was created for me. If the teacher chose the option to create an assignment for each student, a copy, and I see I have the turn in button. I will only see the turn in button on those assignments that were created for me from Google Classroom. So this is a, a Google Doc that the teacher selected to have a copy made for each student. You can see that there's the title of the Google Doc and then my name was added to it. And when I'm inside that document, I can see the turn in mark. So I can turn in my assignment this way or when I'm looking at the assignment view, I can turn it in. I can also add in different, different objects. I can add some from a Google Drive and I can link to that or upload a file if I need to so the teacher doesn't have to create something for me to be able to turn something in. I can also go to the create and I can create a new document, presentation, spreadsheet, or drawing directly from Classroom. And that'll just take me to my drive so I can do that. So once I am done with my assignment, I can select turn in. And it'll pop up and it's opening my Classroom again. So we'll go here and it's going to turn in that assignment and I want to turn all that in. I can add a comment if I want, I don't have to. But once I'm sure, I click turn in. Now, after it's turned it in, I lose editing rights. So if I click on this file, you'll see view only up here in the right after it loads, uh, up right here, sorry, up in the left, and I can see things, I can't even comment or do anything on it, I can only view. I will not have control of this document again until my teacher has gone over it and then returned it to me. And so I can, if I want to, I can go into the assignment details where I'll just see any resources. I can go back to my class. Uh, yes, I can see any other classmates in here. I can see how I can email them quickly. And there's even an about section where I can see the basic information of my class. And so that's the basic side of classroom. Now, if you have any issues turning in assignments or that, uh, one issue that's popped up is the person was able was not able to turn in the assignment that was created for them. So all they had to do was copy the information, post into a new doc, and submit that. Um, you'll still be able to submit assignments after the due date, but you need to listen to your teacher about what are the expectations in the classroom about that.